The first product on our list is Sun Joe Lager. Designed to take much of the risk out of this potentially hazardous task, the Sunjo Lager uses a dual-action, hydraulic pump solidly affixed to a welded, steel frame to apply incredible amounts of torque without using any electricity or other fuels. This product is available on Amazon for $150, check out the link in the YouTube description below. This product has average 4.3 stars from more than 528 customer reviews, a customer said. I don't use wood as a primary heat source like many others. I have a fireplace that I use occasionally, and a fire pit that I use more often. I had a large cord of wood dropped off and stacked recently from a new supplier. It was the hardest, most solid wood I've ever handled, and cut in very thick chunks. My axe and hatchet just bounced off the wood, and I just didn't want to rely on a mall. I researched various and wide-ranging options. I couldn't justify purchasing a gasoline-powered splitter for the few times a year it would be used. I looked at many electric log splitters, but the reviews were far too spotty, depending on the type of wood being split. Manual hydraulic splitters seem to offer a good mix low price, low maintenance, and reliability when faced with extremely hard wood and knots. The package arrived quickly, but the box was in rough shape with large holes punched through, and no wonder as this is a heavy beast. I unpacked the Sun Joe, and except for one of the cradle arms being bent significantly, the machine was was intact. There was virtually. Another happy customer said, I bought this for my husband, and he has been very pleased with his log splitter. It is lightweight compared to big electric splitters. It does not need electricity. It can be folded up and stored in a small space. It is easy to move to wherever he is working. He says I did good choosing this new toy for him to play with. An unhappy customer said. After reading the reviews I really wanted to like this splitter. What I really wanted was something that was a little easier physically with the understanding that it might be a little slower. Instead this splitter is ridiculously slow but also very easy. It was so slow I couldn't see myself using it to do more than a cord of wood max. The time it takes I would rather just chop the wood by hand. I could see it being useful for someone that just has a couple fires every year. Or maybe someone that goes camping every year and wants to take split wood for a fire. I personally use around 5 cords of wood every winter to heat my wood stove. This splitter was not the right product for that much splitting. I really didn't like how it doesn't split all the way through the wood. Even the few logs I did do I still had to split some strands by hand to just get it completely separated. For now I'm just going to continue to chop by hand and look into getting a gas splitter next year. The number 2 is Fiskars X27. From one of today's most well-known manufacturers of cutting tools, the Fiskars X27 improves upon the classic mall design using resilient, high-grade alloys, a textured, non-slip handle, and a lightweight, ultra-reliable shaft. The price approximately $53. There are 4,164 reviews which average rating is 4.8 stars for this product, a customer said. Dude, amazing. This acts as a hipster's wood chopping dream come true. I'm a middle-age homeowner in the Chicago area. I have mature trees around my home and I admit I'm a nature lover. It was heartbreaking to see my beautiful ash trees get taken by the emerald ash borer. If you're not familiar, Google it. Four mature trees were stricken and had to be cut down to avoid damage to my house if the perfect storm hit. Also, I notice sticks and bark constantly under these dead trees. It was time to deal with it. The dead ash trees became a liability. 
So, through research and a few bids from local contractors, the cost of service per tree would cost me $700 per tree, translated four trees will cost $2,800, valuing every cent I make, I felt I could do something more meaningful with $2,800, like a big screen TV, JK. No more like a vacation. After more research, I made the decision to pursue cutting them down myself. I do not recommend you doing it yourself and if you do, be extra careful and mindful of what you're doing and what can happen. Fast forward, I'm glad I. Another happy customer said. Okay so I am a 5 foot 1 inch female. I had no idea which splitting axe to buy. I had never had to chop my own wood before. I bought the smaller one of these that is 14 inches and realized it wasn't going to split my wood for the winter. So, I bought this one. I was told it was too big for me. I used it anyway. Guess who can split wood with two strikes? This girl. Not every piece with two strikes but I'm working on it. I absolutely love to go out and split wood now. I had my seven-year-old grandson out there with the little axe today and we both stayed out there enjoying the fresh air and the sound of axes cracking against firewood. The next product is WEN 56207. If you're looking to minimize the physical labor it takes to build up your firewood stash, consider the WEN 56207. Its 15 amp motor does most of the work for you and, at under $300 with a notably durable construction, it's a relatively economical option, too. There are 428 reviews which average rating is 4.6 stars for this product, a customer said. I was very impressed with this log splitter. It was perfect for my application. I was able to split about two cords of straight pine and oak over the course of two afternoons taking my time. The pine had already aged about nine months and the oak was very old. It split it all with no problem. I could see people having issues with very large and or fresh cut logs. Even when splitting by hand I've always let my wood age for at least six months before splitting. As long as you understand what you're getting this is a great tool for the price. I already have several family members asking to borrow and possibly buy their own. Another happy customer said. Works pretty good. One load down so far. We'll split hard wood with some patience. The bad, the two-handed operation is great for a 10-year-old. Makes it troublesome to steady a log and run the machine. The ram comes up a little short. Would be nice if shoved a little closer to the wedge. Last the package was nearly destroyed some the bolts was missing. But it sure beats swinging a maul. An unhappy customer said. I had a lot of hickory which is very knotty and hard to chop. I bought this hoping that it would speed things up. Once I learned that if it doesn't go through a log the first time to just rotate it 90 degrees and try again it really worked. The issue was on the second day it started leaking hydraulic fluid so I'm guessing one of the seals gave way. I opened the air release valve before I used it every time so I don't know if I received a faulty one or the hickory was just too much for it. The next product in our list is Helco Work. Sporting the fine craftsmanship you'd expect from a handmade, German tool, the Helco Work is a somewhat simple model that should last for a lifetime. It comes with a bottle of conditioning oil to ensure that it always looks as good as it functions. The price approximately $72. This product is rated with 4.2 stars from 10 customer reviews, a customer said. This is an excellent wedge. 
works much better than the cheap farm store wedge and the steel holds up to the sledge much better as well. I also have the Grandsfors wedge, which is smaller and lighter. The Grandsfors may be a bit easier to start and to drive, being thinner, the Helco ultimately spreads the wood farther and is therefore more likely to split the tough to split species. They make a good combination but if I had to choose one it would be the Helco. Another happy customer said, Splits like the devil in all wood. Even wet stringy maple, it busts the big ones in half and lets me get them up on the log splitter afterwards. Need two as always. One gets stuck from time to time and the second busts the rest open. An unhappy customer said, Okay, not worth the dollar charged. The next one is Frictionless World 100,950. If you have a lot of large logs to process and they are mostly located off site, the trailer mounted Frictionless World 100,950 is definitely worth a look. Its 6.5 horsepower engine and 11 second cycle duration can help get nearly any job done, in almost no time at all. This product is available on Amazon for $948. There are 12 reviews which average rating is 3.3 stars for this product, a customer said. So far nice machine simple to assemble with the downloaded instructions and common sense. Few cons thought dot was missing the hydraulic reservoir cap dip stick so when running the fluid spills out some and splatters out been working with customer service about it but so far they sent me the wrong part. Biggest complaint thought is how you have to fill the engine oil, unless you flip the entire thing on end you'll never get any oil in the machine since the dip stick oil fill caps are on the bottom side of the motor machine. I ended up putting too much oil in since I didn't realize it had to be flipped like that at first. It has leaked something out but I am not sure what it is since I can't check the hydraulic level without the dip stick and can't check the oil without spilling the hydraulic fluid. Another happy customer said, I have split maybe 5 cords red oak with it so far, no problems yet. Came with a bit of rust in a few spots, contacted Amazon and they made it right. Took me about an hour to put it together by myself. I have only had it a few months but for China made it has worked just fine. An unhappy customer said. No assembly or operating instructions with purchase sent warranty card, returned undeliverable? Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.